can something happen here in time before this session ends? Well, there's, a, there's the outline of a, of a bipartisan agreement that was put together by a gang of eight senators and 50 uh, Republicans and Democrats in the House. But they are working on uh, the language of that. We were just told that they're going to try to develop the details of that by Monday morning. At that point, if they can come together, and apparently the White House is in on this drafting of language, as is Pelosi and McConnell and the other top leaders, then we'll have a really good sense if this is going to happen or not. Uh, you know, but there's a lot of uh, especially attention to this idea of corporate liability, the ability of companies to be free of tort lawsuits related to COVID. Uh, there's a proposal on the table to put a six-month moratorium, but Republicans are pushing for more. And there's also state and local government aid in there, and there's a, a talk about the formula, how that's going to be distributed. So those details are being worked out, and I think by Monday we'll have a really good sense of whether this bill is going to pass or not. Yeah, I mean, that's a good insight into just how difficult it is to, to get everything you know, on paper and to everybody's approval. But just on Speaker Pelosi alone, she's been saying this for weeks, if not months, Eric. Why, why should we believe her more now? I think it's a matter of math. You know, Pelosi was stuck at two and a half trillion dollars. Mitch McConnell was at 500 billion. That's a huge gulf. And now McConnell is around 600 billion, and, and, and Pelosi, Schumer, and possibly the White House are at 900. So you only have a 300 billion dollar difference. The math is just working out a lot more in the favor. And, and, and Pelosi's original proposal had a lot of things that were just anathema uh, to Republicans in there. Uh, initially, she was even looking for a trillion dollars in state and local aid. This proposal only has $160 billion, which is probably something easier for them to swallow. Uh, there are some people in the Senate Republican conference who will vote against it. They just do not want to see Democrat-run states uh, uh, rewarded for having big pension liabilities, for example. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be, bring more of the moderates in the Senate Republican conference on board for that smaller number. This obviously all happening as uh, the prospect of a vaccine um, kind of quickens. It now seems as though, you know, it's a very real notion that uh, parts of America will have access to a vaccine possibly by the end of the year or certainly early next. Does that color the negotiations at all? Obviously not for maybe state aid, but when they're talking about targeted aid to individuals or businesses. I think that definitely did. And, you know, you see the big thing that was dropped from these proposals, and this was a big uh, element of commonality before the election was the $1,200 stimulus payments just to really stimulate the economy. Uh, but, you know, that has dropped by the wayside. Now, there are some efforts we're seeing uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Josh Hawley uh, having a strange bedfellows moment here, uh, maybe a line to try to get that back in the package. However, that's been dropped. That's because of the cost of about half a trillion uh, dollars right there to roll that one out. Uh, you know, but also they've been able to scale, scale back the uh, unemployment insurance. You know, before Pelosi was insisting on $600 a week in a boost, the compromise on the table is $300 a week. So there's a sense that, you know, the workers can get tidied through to March. And then also the fact that the Biden administration is coming in. And the Democrats are able to tell themselves, at least, we'll make a really concerted push with the new administration to get this done. They'll still be dealing with Mitch McConnell, but maybe they have the upper hand next time. Is there any reason for anybody to wait till post-Georgia? Well, I mean, I think that there's going to be a chance uh, after the Georgia runoffs are, are settled to do this Biden package, you know. But, uh, you know, it all really depends on this language. Uh, whether uh, they cannot agree on it and push it till that, uh, you know, will really depend on whether they can come to agreement on language this week.